What is security and what is OS or operating system hardening? Let's talk about security. Hey, isn't the security everybody knows about? Yes, it is and it is that simple. But let's go over a quick definition of what security is. Any type of protection against harm, right? So you have a house, you have you want to protect your house. You want to protect yourself or you want to protect your computer. Anything or any type of protection against harm is defined as security. So what is a computer security then? Well, in Wikipedia language or in a very formal language, a computer security, cyber security or information technology security is the protection of computer systems from theft or damage to their hardware, software or electronic data as well as from disruption or misdirection of services they provide. Now, the first part is very simple that you want to protect your computer from a loss of hardware or software and of course the data itself. But the second part says it's also a security to protect against the disruption or misdirection of the services they provide. If your computer is providing any type of services, so if it is under 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 attack or there's a breach to your computer, then not only your data will be gone, then most likely your function of your computer will also be impacted. So security, computer security is also designed to protect your services as well. Let's talk about Linux security. Linux security, now Linux is an open source or op open source operating system whose code can easily be read by the user, but still it is more secure operating system than compared to many other operating systems. Okay, perfect. So if it is more secured by any other operating system, then why do we need Linux security? The need of Linux security arises for basically two reasons. One is internal, meaning you do not have access to the outside world, but still you want to protect your computer against damages or against mistakes. So if you have a local user environment that people log in, whether it's Keyway and whether it's DevOps or even yourself, who, if you are a computer system or Linux system administrator or engineer, you could make mistakes as well. So you want to implement some kind of local security security when you make a mistake that mistake either first does not happen or second if it does then how you could correct that mistake so that's an internal security that you can implement second or external type of security or the need for the security of Linux is external if your Linux computer is servicing services such as HTTP, FTP, NFS or anything like that by the way I mistyped that F FTP twice what I meant to type is NFS or, but anyway so any services your computer is or your Linux computer is servicing that service is actually interacting with users from outside or out on the internet then you definitely need some type of security on your computer or around your Linux computer Let's talk about OS hardening. What is OS hardening? And what is the difference between OS hardening and security? Well, OS security and hardening used inter interchangeably. There's no difference between them. Mostly hardening is used in a Linux environment, whereas security is used in mostly all other operating systems. In simple words, hardening is used when making the operating system so hard to break. So you will make your Linux operating system so secure and so hard by implementing certain principles, certain rules, that it will become so hard to break. So when you, if someone asks you, hey, have you done OS security on your Linux computer environment? That yes, security and hardening is pretty much the same way. So we'll cover more topics about Linux security and hardening in the later lectures. Let's keep going on.